Hey guys, yeah, it's me. Where have I been? What have I been doing? What's been happening in my life? You know, um, am I doing skincare? Or am I, you know, what am I doing, right? Am I on a diet? Have I disappeared? <laughs> Probably a little bit of all of that, some of you might have been wondering. And I have been, I don't want to make up any excuses, but I have been having a super hard time, hard, hard time getting back, I think, in front of a camera. I never thought I would ever, ever have that issue, but I, but I have. And I think a lot of it has to do with that. I just, you know, I don't think that uh, my channel is growing. I, you know, I don't think my channel is much good at times. And, you know, I, I don't know. It's just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It, it's probably a lot of just how I feel, you know, than maybe, you know, the reality. I don't know. But um, I do want to thank you guys because you guys have been with me, you've stuck with me, you've sent me messages, what are you doing, where are you? Some of you have friended me on Facebook, so you've seen some of my, my updates, um, but I've pretty well laid low on a lot of social, and especially I've laid low on, um, you know, Instagram and on TikTok and stuff like that and, and creating videos. And again, it's, it's my own, I think, the way I feel, you know, I just, I just don't feel that I'm contributing enough or that, uh, that it's worth anyone's time to watch. And so I'm not looking for you guys to say, oh, don't feel that way, don't feel that way. I'm just explaining to you why I think it's been so hard for me to get back in, I think, let's call it the saddle. But anyways, I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update and talk about some of the plans coming up and I'm going to do a separate video talking about my skincare because I think your skincare is a little bit more difficult when you're not in a consistent place and we've been doing a lot of traveling. I work a lot remotely. And a lot of times when we're in our RV, I feel like, wow, I'd love to sit outside and do a video with this beautiful scenery around me. And then I don't do it. You know, I don't do it for one reason or another. I don't have my tripod. I, you know, things aren't set up the right way. I just don't, I don't do it. So I have said to myself that um, just do it. Just start. Just make a decision. Just just um, make a commitment and it doesn't have to be the right decision and the right commitment but as long as you make a decision to to move forward you can always adjust right if things don't work out you can always adjust that's kind of how I look at it so back in November of 2022 yeah a long time ago almost two years ago I had um, I had some health stuff happening and I had some other issues and, you know, little things that were, that were happening and, you know, I had, um, my mom was not doing good and lost my brother and my father. It's just been, it's just been one of those, you know, I think as many of you face when you just have one thing after another and it seems like you take two steps forward, you go back 10 steps. So, but anyways, back in November, I had gone to the doctor and the doctor was concerned about my weight and I was concerned about my weight. I didn't like myself even though I'm big boned and I'm not tall, I'm 5'6", I'm, five, six. Um, I'm probably 5'5 five, five now according to what they say, but I'm big boned and I can hide weight good. I still, I still felt um, like a porker. I just felt, you know, I everything was harder for me to do. Everything was harder for me to do. Things that I love to do, and I'm always very active, ride my bike, take walks, I love to go to the beach, etc. stuff like that. And even when I don't eat a lot, I still can't lose weight, you know? So this was a very, very frustrating thing for me and a very frustrating thing for my doctor. Because I'm on Medicare, and I do have a supplement plan, I have my plan D and all that. Because I'm on Medicare, though, Medicare doesn't cover a lot of um, 
you know, a lot of drugs. And they certainly wouldn't cover Ozempic or any of those injectables that, you know, might have made a big difference for me at that time. But it just doesn't cover it. And unlike maybe some people, I, I just didn't have $1,200 a month to, to do that. So my doctor found a very similar type of a drug and um, he said I could try it. It wasn't inject, injectable, he injected it. And he said I could try it and the, for some reason, my insurance covered it. And I tried it, I think I did it for like four months, something like that, maybe three. I think I probably lost five pounds, six pounds, if that during that time frame so but what I was what it was giving me is in the injection sites I was getting lumps so I was getting lumps no matter where I injected once a week injection I was getting lumps but I wanted to stay on it because even though I'd only lost like about four or five pounds it was more than I've lost or six pounds it was more than I've lost in a long time so I wanted to stay on it but it was discontinued <laughs> So go figure. So anyways, I had to come off of that. And I still kept trying. Uh, I would ride my bike. I would walk. I would watch what I was eating. And, and the weight came off in dribs and drabs, but my doctor wasn't happy with it. So he put me on a prescription medication, a diet, I guess a diet drug, you can call it. I said, is this like speed? And he said, no, no, but it'll help you feel fuller, may boost your metabolism. That's what they were hoping. So before I could do anything like that. I had to have uh, a bunch of blood work done and stuff like that. Anyways, I don't know whether it's me. Uh, I have no idea. But much like the injections, it didn't seem to do much at all. I kept trying it. I, I never really felt anything different at all. And then when I got back home, or when I was able to go back to the doctor, I, and, and he was surprised. Um, at how little weight I lost. And he said, well, let's increase the dosage. So we did increase the dosage. And I think it seemed to help a little bit, but not, not, not tremendously. But anyways, I digress. So I made that decision. Since nothing else was going to really help me, that I was just going to keep going down some sort of a path to try to control my weight, maybe lose weight faster if I could, and just feel better if I could. Now, at the same time, things were piling up, you know, uh, an ill mother, then my mother passed away. There's just a whole lot of stuff that happened in, um, in 2023. But I continued on the, the path, and, and um, eventually I started to really get into a really good routine. So I exercised a lot. I joined Planet Fitness. And I would just work out and I would be mindful of my calorie, my caloric intake more than anything. So I started to say, you know, I could go low carb again. I could go keto again. But keto just ruined my hair. You know, it just made my hair fall out. Um, so I didn't think that was going to be any kind of an option. I didn't, And I didn't want to restrict myself because if I went strictly low carb, then I know I would have a lot of cheats because I, if I want an ice cream, I want an ice cream. If I, you know, want to have french fries, I want to have french fries and I could compensate in other ways. So I made the decision and I just made the decision that I was going to keep doing this, keep working out. I started to focus more on my active calories burning when, on my fitness watch and I monitored it very closely. Active calories versus total calories burning. Active calories mean when I'm doing something. And then by the time we went down to Florida... I've been I've been working out for a good uh, Planet Fitness at that time, a good six months I think at Planet Fitness, maybe longer. And I've been working out when I go. I would work out an hour to an hour and a half a day. I would use all the the elliptical, the, you know, all of that stuff. And when I could, I would walk at home, depending on the weather and the, and the situation and, and all of that. So by the time I went to Florida last year, in which was the day after Christmas in December of 2023. 
and we discovered it. I loved it. We were in St. Augustine. I loved it. Every single night or every single day, I just went out and walked. And I worked remotely. Uh, I cut my hours down dramatically. But every single day, I went out and I walked. Sometimes I had weights in my hand. And it was just super, super good. And then we went to Myrtle Beach. I think we got there in March. And we started to swim every day. You know, they had an indoor pool. It was heated. It wasn't like it was super hot, but it was heated. So every day I would swim, sometimes for an hour. And I did that the entire time. And and I really, because we were traveling in a motorhome, I really didn't know weight-wise at all that, you know, at how everything was coming. We did end up buying a scale in Walmart at one point down there, so just so we could have an idea. But by the time I went to Sheila's house, Life was Lily, simply Sheila, my good friend Sheila. By the time I went to Sheila's house, I, 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 I think I might have been down 35 pounds, 38 pounds or something, close to 40 pounds, I want to say, uh, between 35 and 38, I think. I don't, I don't really remember. But by the time I did that, and I, I don't remember when we went to visit her, it had to have been sometime in late March because we went home mid-April. So maybe it was even the beginning of April. But when she saw me, um, she was shocked. And she could tell, she could see my weight loss. And even though I could see in my clothes, I couldn't see when I looked at myself. I didn't, I didn't see it. So I was like, wow, Sheila, really? And she was like, yeah, you know? And that was kind of a really good, a boost of confidence. So I had a great visit with Sheila. I, I know that's a video I did. Some of you have watched that video. And she's just absolutely beautiful. She's just such a wonderful friend. When I was in Florida, before I went to, to South Carolina, I did see Marlene. And Marlene, actually Jay and I stayed at Marlene's as well. And we went on a cruise. And, um, you know, so I was able to see both Marlene and Sheila separate times. But it was just, it was a wonderful winter. And then we were able to catch up with other friends and visited mother-in-law and went over to the villages where Jay's buddy and his wife bought and just all sorts of different things. So it was really, it was a great, great booster for me. And when I got back to Myrtle Beach after visiting with Sheila and got back to Myrtle Beach, just continued to swim. I would walk every day on the beach and I was starting to panic because coming home, you know, I didn't have a pool. My streets are not really safe. I was just loving walking on the beach for an hour, over four miles in the sand. I loved it. And then an hour of swimming. And I was so, so worried. So when we came home, we went on a hunt to find a club maybe that could, um, they had a pool or something like that. And I don't know how many of you know about silver sneakers. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you probably do know about silver sneakers. But silver sneakers for, um, what is it, like, you got to be got to be on Medicare, you know, uh, and all that and have a supplement insurance that also accepts it. But Silver Sneakers makes it so that you can join multiple location, multiple facilities, I should say, for, you know, free in most cases. Sometimes there might be some limitation. But we found a club in Salem, New Hampshire, which is the town I grew up in, and, and uh, they had a, in, they have an indoor pool. We joined for totally, totally for free. Um, I think all of probably May, June, and, you know, into into some of July, we were probably going down to that workout club every day, Jay and I, at one point, either first thing in the morning or in the afternoon or early evening, and we were working out and swimming for an hour and doing exercises in the pool, not just, you know, floating or anything, but actually physically working out. Sometimes after the hour of my pool session, I'd have like 800 Cal active calories gone. So anyways, long story short, I'm just about 50 pounds now and it's it's going to be two years in November and um, it's not easy. It, it isn't easy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's um, a struggle because there's sometimes I do want to be a piggy and eat everything in sight, but I don't deny myself. I try to modify in the sense of how much and how often I have these, you know, big splurges or, you know, especially like say alcohol, I hardly ever drink, but when, but if I want to drink, if I'm out to dinner and I want to have a drink like a strawberry daiquiri, which is full of nasty calories, 
I'm going to have it if I want it. So I, I'm trying not to deny myself because I want to, I want to enjoy life. Um, you know, and as I said before, I had a couple of health issues, the lumpectomy, second lumpectomy, and, um, it's not it's not easy to overcome some of that stuff. I think it kind of really kind of really is a huge impact, especially when you see people around you passing away or or being a lot sicker than you are. I turned seventy in February, and I, I everyone looks at me and says you're a very young seventy. Even my doctor, you know, they'll say that. I feel young most of the time because I feel usually I have energy. You guys that know me and been around for a while, you know that Jay and I have always been doing physical, more outside stuff. I'm, I'm more of a camping girl, outside girl than, you know, a, um, you know, top of the line hotel girl. So I've always been active and it's just been such a huge, you know, huge slap in the face at times, you know, but I did make the de decision. I'm just going to do something. And if something turns out to not work and not be right, I'm just going to adjust. It doesn't have to be perfect. Something doesn't have to be right 100% or perfect, but doing something is a start to getting to where you want to be. And once I came to that realization, hey, this doesn't have to be perfect, I was, I was so much better with it, you know, and, and I'm talking mainly the diet and the health and all that, working on my health. My goals are Yes, I want to look good. I want to be physically, I want to reduce my cholesterol, which I have, by the way, dramatically reduced my cholesterol. But I want to have good stamina. I want to be able to walk and, and you know, and ride a bike and do all the things that I love to do. I don't, I'm not ready to sit and just watch the world go by. You know, I'm not. And as long as I can push myself to do stuff um, and, 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 like I said, doing something is better than doing nothing, in my opinion. But as long as I can push myself to do stuff, I think I'm going to be okay. How much weight do I want to lose? Um, I'm not really even trying much. What I'm trying to do right now is tone the flab. I have such flab. My armpit, my underarms, my bat wings. Holy moly, my legs. Um, I have I have flab. So I've been really trying to tone when I swim. I do exercises to to tone my legs and my arms and stuff like that. And then you have those swim weights you can you can use in the water. Um, so I've done that and, and I've taken a spin class. You know, when we go when we're up north in Maine, we joined a YMCA up there. And they did not take silver sneakers, but they have a beautiful facility. So we did a three month guest pass because we're up there for the summer and we've been when we're not home and we're there we've gone there so we probably have gone there july uh all of july and half of june more than we've been home and the facility is beautiful so i've done spin classes there they have an, a heated indoor lap pool where you can swim laps and exercise and they have they have a, a aerobics classes you know water aerobics and stuff like that then they have a therapy pool which is much warmer where you could stretch and do all sorts of stuff like that and then they have a dry sauna so that's what we've been doing i'm just working on toning if i lose a little bit more weight while i'm trying to tone that's great um you know i'm down like three three sizes and i've often said that you know what you you for the sake of your butt looking good, you sacrifice your face because as you lose weight, your face falls. And that's what's been happening to mine. So I've been doing my Nera. I've been doing my Zip. I've been doing all sorts of stuff to help lift my face or, keep, or try to tighten it. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. But I'm trying to be as proactive as possible to, to do stuff like that. So we have a big trip coming up. And I started talking about this trip, basically, originally this trip was supposed to be back pre-COVID. And it was, we were going to go to Scotland, Ireland, and England, and, and then COVID came, everything got canceled, and then life happened, and other, and other things got in the way, and it just didn't work out. So we had the vouchers to use, and we had to use them up. We had to book something by the end of 2023 to use by the end of 2024. And so we had decided last year that we were going to use the vouchers to go to a trip to Germany. 
and both of us are from Germany, although we don't speak German. We try, I'm trying to learn a little bit, but both of us are from Germany. So Jay had found his biological family. He has a, a brother and a sister that are still alive and aunts and uncles and cousins. And so we're going to go to one part of Germany and visit with them for a few days, explore where Jay was born. And then we're going to go on a, a Viking river cruise that my sister, who is a travel agent, booked for us. So this Viking river cruise, oh my gosh, uh, we're going to go out of Amsterdam. We're going to go we we'll end up in Switzerland, but we're going to go through several spots and towns and do several excursions. And and um, my sister really bent over backwards to try to get us in this cruise because it was like full up everywhere, you know. Uh, and I, my dates were so restricted because I booked the tickets the end of last year, not knowing I was going to go on a river cruise. So my sister she moved mountains or she moved river cruises to get us in there and i have a balcony room because i have such wicked bad claustrophobia i cannot i could not be in a, a in a room that didn't have a, a window that i could open up and and breathe some air so she did that and um and then we're, when we come back from the river cruise, we'll be in Switzerland and we're going to go to Stuttgart, Germany, where my family, my Mala side and my Kaldun side, then my mother and father's side of the family, my cousins and all that, we're going to have a meetup as much as possible, as many relatives that can make it. We're going to have a meetup in the town that I was born in, Feuerbach, Germany. And I'm going to get to see people I haven't seen in some cases ever and in other cases since I was a little girl at 12. So it's going to be an emotional trip. And um, we're going to do it, hopefully, with carry-on only. I'm trying not to stress out because I've been working on a capsule wardrobe, trying to figure out the best way to do it. I've bought little tiny travel containers. I've decanted some of my skin care um, to, to take it out of the bottles and put it in like the plastic. Um, I don't have it in here to show you. Put it in the little plastic thing just so it could, you know, fit better and be lighter in, in a carry-on. So, um, oh my gosh, I don't know if, <laughs> don't know if it's going to work, but I'm certainly going to give it my best, give it my best. I, we booked out of Delta and we're going Boston to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Frankfurt, but the Amsterdam to Frankfurt is by a partner airline and their luggage restrictions are different than the Delta that we booked on. And we don't have the ability in our economy ticket to check luggage, which I think if you book from Delta and you're allowed one free bag to check and two free carry-ons, then it should be that way for, the, for your whole trip. But apparently it doesn't work that way. And apparently the European airlines have very strict standards. They weigh your bags, your carry-on bags. They weigh your carry-on bags. And it has to be a certain size. So I bought bags, I returned bags because they were too big. And oh my gosh, I'm driving poor Jay crazy, I know. But I'm try I'm a planner, I guess. I'm trying to really, you know, kind of iron this all out and kind of plan it, but Oh, my lordy. So I've been pretty pre preoccupied with that. You know, settling my mom's estate, still going through some of that. And we've been away. We've been away. We've been away. We've been away. We've been enjoying the summer, even though we're both still working, limited. Um, it, it's lovely to be able to work remotely. But at 70, I should be able to do that, you know, or should just not work. You know what I mean? So um, I, wear, I mean, I've been working since I've been 14. So I consider myself semi-retired, and that sounds kind of really cool. I kind of like that. Semi-retired. So anyways, I'm going to do, uh, when I shut this off, I'm going to do an update on my skincare. And this video will be posted Sunday, tomorrow. I'm going back to Maine uh, tomorrow morning, but I will uh, set this to if all goes well, unless I have an issue with editing, but I don't think I'm going to need to edit anything. You know, I'm not going to cut out any bloopers. I have had any bloopers that I know of and if I have they're staying in so I'm going to probably have this um, up on Sunday probably around 10 o'clock and hopefully by that time I'll be well on the road to Maine and um, Jay and I are staying in a little campground on Southport Island we've been coming back and forth to the house um, the kids are here you know the the Roddies are here with my son <laughs> So, uh, and our next door neighbor came over and he uh, he helped me today or yesterday. He um, 
because Jay's mower broke, so he came over and he, he was like mowing all lawn. Um, but we have the we have the best neighbors, you know. We really do. They they really this whole community here, even though it isn't a cul-de-sac location, people do look out for each other, and and I just really love that. So. Anyways, my skincare video, probably I don't know if it'll go up Wednesday or next weekend. We'll see. And then I would like to share some of my summer adventures, you know, because we have been a little bit here, there, and everywhere and doing all sorts of different things and fun things. And we went on a boat ride not too long ago. Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. It was a, it was a, a reggae, reggae, you know, um, cruise. And it was sunset. Oh. No filters on my pictures of my sunset. Oh my gosh, the sky was on fire. I'll insert one picture here if I can remember. But it's on fire. It was so beautiful. We cruised all around the coast and um, in front of a lighthouse. Oh, it was wonderful. Anyways, I'm going to end this here because this, I don't want this to be two hours long. One of these days I'm going to go live because I think then it'd be more my natural. I can just gab. But I'm going to end this here and then I'm going to shoot my skincare video. I'll Maybe I'll change my top just to look a little different. Maybe I'll put a different wig on too. Who knows? But anyways, thank you guys so much for your patience and not abandoning me and hanging in there even if my content is iffy. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later, and yes, I hope to have another video up very soon. Thank you for watching, and oh, if you're new, think about subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. That certainly helps, and leave me a comment. Bye, guys.